If you're using Google Sheets as a data source for your Data Studio reports, you may have noticed that your ROAS or ROI is wrong. I'm Amy Hebden with Paid Search Magic, and I'm going to show you how to calculate your ROAS and ROI correctly so you can use Google Sheets and still get the right metrics in your report. So the first thing I want to walk you through is how we connect Google Sheets as a data source, just in case there's any confusion. So um, I'm just going to go here and grab a new data source to look at how to do that because um, we've looked at how to grab <laughs> uh, how to grab a data source before. Now I get confused on this all the time because select data source, I feel like, oh, I should click on that. And it just takes me back. So um, I'm going to click on data source and then go down here to where it says create new data source. Don't be fooled as I still get tripped up by that. I think it's weird. Um, I'm going to go over here to Google Sheets. I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to have like a bunch of spreadsheets come up as options. And I can't select um, an entire spreadsheet to populate. When I select a spreadsheet, it's going to give me um, all the different worksheets. And so this is something you need to know that each worksheet in your uh, Google Sheet is going to be its own data source. And so if you need to add all of them, you need, you're going to add them. Um, they're, they're, they're all separate here. So I'm going to select the, the top one. I'm going to hit Connect. I'm not even going to name it. I'm just going to add it to the report, and we'll deal with that. <laughs> add to report. Okay, so I am going to, we'll just look at what I have in my in my sheet here. I've got my marketing costs, revenue, ROAS, cost per sale, average order value, and sales. And so I have my ROAS calculated out here. It's a calculated fields in, um, in my Google Sheet. So really, in theory, there shouldn't be any problem here. When I drag in my ROAS, it looks fine until I add a summary row. And then we see that it's not fine because it actually calculated it, added up that row as together. And just to drive home the point, if I wanted to add a scorecard of what my row as is, hang on, <laughs> um, I'm going to drag over row as, and it's, it's the sum of those numbers. Now you may be thinking, oh, this is this is where you would create a calculated field. So let's try that. Let's say ROAS calculated and we're going to say revenue divided by marketing cost. And we'll wait for this guy. Yep, looks good. Save. Done. And let's drag that calculated fields um, select the table, drag the calculated field in there, and it's still the same problem. We did not get a calculated number here, or let's just, for the good measure, or up here. So what we need to do to get this to calculate correctly, it's not a lost cause. This isn't that you can't use Google Sheets. It's just we're going to have to calculate the field a little bit differently. So I'm going to um, select create new field again because that's where I'm going to get be able to get to my calculation. So I'm going to scroll down to where I have my row as calculated. Click on the function. And instead of saying revenue, I'm going to say the sum of the revenue divided by the sum of the marketing costs. I'm going to hit update. I'm going to hit done. So now this is 2.17. Now this is 2.7, whereas when I only dragged it in from Google Sheets, it was still summarizing. It was, it was the total of the entire ROAS column. Um, so just to just to go over that again, if we want to be using ROAS in our calculations, we can't just say revenue divided by ad spend. We have to say the sum of the revenue divided by the sum of the ad spend. Otherwise, just like with marketing costs, how we're looking at the sum total, and with revenue, we're looking at a sum total, we're going to take the calculated field and look at the sum total. We're not going in and dividing these numbers out. So just, just a tip, um, if you're using 
um, you know, Google ads or analytics or anything else where, where your data source is, is plugged into um, some of those, those Google platforms, you won't have a problem with this. But when you are pulling in your data source as Google Sheets, you will want to be cautious about those calculated fields and make sure you're using some of that number. Um, otherwise, you're going to get some bad data that you don't want, and it's not going to look right. So I hope that this saved you some time. Uh, if, if it did, if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or request more videos, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, please subscribe to get more videos about how to make better Data Studio dashboards and reports. Thanks a lot.